Now, let's start by creating a project for this particular robot. We'll click on robot and I will start by giving the name as robot1. Generate emp id and mail id. So as we can see, showing that this is not a valid thing. So I'll just add and an email ID. Then if you want to provide any description to it, you can do that. I'm leaving it as it is by default. And I'm clicking on create. This will add the dependencies and create the workspace for us. It might take few seconds to set up the environment. So once that is done, we'll have a blank project with us. If I just move up to the project panel and I click on main, here is the workspace where we can start implementing. Let me take a sequence first. I'm just dragging it over here and the environment is set. Okay. So what we have to do right now is we have to start using the activities whichever might be helpful to us to achieve our end goal which is to generate employee ID and employee email ID. As we can see right now we are trying to work with Chrome. So for that we have to make sure that we have the Chrome extension installed. In our system. There is the Chrome extension. Because right now I have the Chrome extension installed, it's showing me this particular pop-up. Else it will show an another different pop-up to us. For that to install it, we have to close all the instances of Chrome and then you can click on this and you click on OK OK, whatever windows that you will be sh shown with that should be done okay once that is done you can return back to this workspace and see right now what we have to do is we have to enter the first name last name date of birth designation mobile number and select the gender accept this terms and conditions and click on submit so that is what we are going to do right now here going forward 